Yo, hello guys, it's your boy, Found Popcorn Founding, Popcorn Found, Popcorn 798 here, here with a what if, um, what if thing here, what if Lord Voldemort conquered Hogwarts, would he be able to do his next stage of the plan, which is conquer the muggle world of Britain, now, this is an interesting one, because Unlike Lord Sauron or Emperor Palpatine or Darth Vader, I actually don't think he could do it. Uh, and this is my reason why. Lord Voldemort has been described as one of the most powerful wizards of his time after Professor Dumbledore. Now I'm going off the movies because as you guys know I'm reading the books at the moment on the channel. Uh, so I'm going off the movies here. Yeah. And bear in mind, I've not watched the movies in properly in a few years. So, but Lord Voldemort is one of the, described as one of the most powerful wizards of his time after Dumbledore. Now, but the only problem with that is that Harry and Hermione, who are a lot younger than Voldemort, are more powerful, can stand against him. Maybe even more powerful than him in some regards. Um, I mean, if it wasn't for Lord Voldemort's Horcruxes, Lord Voldemort would have been dead ages ago. Uh, when Harry was in his second, in his first year, Harry, uh, Lord Voldemort would have died. He would have died. Um, if it wasn't for his Horcruxes. So, do I think he can defeat Take over the wizarding world if he took uh, the muggle world. If he took over Hogwarts, no. But let's say for for a moment. Let's just say for a moment that Lord Voldemort managed to kill Harry. He took over Hogwarts. Professor Dumbledore is dead, along with most of the professors at Hogwarts. He won. Hogwarts is now his. What would his next step be? Now, there's several ways this can go. Three ways, I believe. One, I mean, well, maybe two actually. One, he could do an Emperor Palpatine, a lay in the shadows, and manipulate his way to take over Britain. But I don't think he has the patience for that. Now, I was talking to my brother about this, and we both agree on one thing Lord Voldemort has not got the patience to do something like that. I mean, yes, yeah, you can argue that he waited. X amount of years to come back, but straight away, instead of rebuilding his power and cut and doing it slowly over years, he went straight for the attack against Hogwarts. He didn't wait. He, well, he waited a year, but after, other than that, he waited. He went straight for it. Look at Emperor Palpatine for an example. He waited around 15, 16 years for his plan to come into fruition. Actually, maybe, actually, probably even longer because of the first film, but since he, before the first film, he was planning to kill Plagueis. And before, before, before he killed Darth Plagueis, they were already started plotting to take down the Jedi, even when he was his master. So, Palpatine waited for at least, I reckon, 25 odd years before, is before he was the Emperor. Voldemort, Voldemort has not got the patience to pull something like that off. Now, what's the second thing? The second way. Well, my, I, my the, the second way is... Now, this is my own personal thing. As far as I'm aware, Hogwarts is the most powerful or powerful wizardry school there is. Followed closely by the French one. And I believe it's the Russian one. I'm not too sure. And the one with the big giant boat that comes out of the water in the movie. Um, but if Hogwarts falls, which is the most secure place in all the wizarding world, then those two will fall quickly. Now, why would Voldemort waste his time on taking two schools from another country? Now, for me personally, I think it will be a stepping a base of operations in the Muggle world. Base of operations. I mean, if he gets to France, one that would be a base of operation in um, mainland Europe and one in Russia as well. If he managed to take that. Now, why would he want that? Well, he needs somewhere to have a foothold. And 
if he managed to take Hogwarts out the muggles being aware of it, he could surely take the um, French one and the Russian one without the muggles being aware at all. I mean, for goodness sake, there was even like, they even just blew up the the bridge uh, Neville did, and no, well, it wasn't Neville, it was the other guy. Uh, I'll keep forgetting his name, but they blew up the, the students blew up a bridge and in Hogwarts, and they still wasn't aware. The muggles were still aware, so we're going. Let's say. Lord Voldemort manages to capture and take over the French school and the Russian school as a base of operations. Would he be able to take the Muggle world? No, he wouldn't. I mean, he he can destroy it, sure. He may be able to do a lot of damage against the Muggle world, but taking it, no. There's one thing Lord Voldemort lacks uh, more than anything, and that is the fact that he will not listen to the people who are his second or command. He doesn't have a second in command like Emperor, the Emperor does, or like Lord Sauron does. He considers himself as the one ruler of his people. The rest are just servants to him. He doesn't care what happens to them. He kills them left and right. If all people sneezing, as my brother puts it, if you sneeze basically in the wrong direction at the wrong time, He'll kill you for it. And even if he tries bore, he'll just kill you. He doesn't listen. It's his way or the highway. And that's the biggest problem with Voldemort. He may be able to do a lot of damage, but for he won't be able to destroy or take, take over, sorry. And even if he does, for argument's sake, take over the wizarding world, uh, the muggle world. It won't last anyway because you'll be killing them. You won't have a population to rule. Now, I'm not saying Lord Voldemort is not powerful. He is. He's a very powerful wizard. He really is. But that's all. He doesn't have the mental and the mental capacity and the willingness to, to take control of something like that. He kills his, his subjects rather than ruling over his subjects. Instead of ruling with fear, he just kills them. That's the only, and top of that, most of the people who follow him, other than Lucius Malfoy, and I think that's it, Lucius Malfoy? I think there might be someone else I'm, I'm forgetting. And there's someone else I'm forgetting, but other than really Lucius, the rest of his people who follow him are absolutely nuts. They couldn't formulate, oh, and Professor Snape, but he wasn't really on his side, he was actually on um, Dumbledore's side. But he was just a double agent. A double, double agent. Um, but he, the rest of the people, like Be like Bellatrix and Strange, are just absolute nut jobs. They couldn't formulate a plan, even if they tried to formulate a plan. Their plan is to go in there chaotically and destroy things. Not for the long term of their rule. And that's what Voldemort wants. He wants to take over, but he can't take over because he doesn't listen to his servants, uh, um, as he puts it. Um, he doesn't want to work with them. He kills them, and his people who do, follow him are absolute nut jobs. Really, and the top of that, Muggles are in the Wizarding world, as far as I can tell, terrifying. Why would the Muggles be hiding from them? Well, Hagrid puts it says in the movie and in the book, which I do remember this in the first book, that the best keep the better the best keeping to themselves. Because the Muggle world which asks too many questions and blah 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 and there were too many hot fixes. I don't think that's the case. Spells in comparison to bullets are a lot slower. I mean you can dodge a spell. You can't dodge a bullet. At all. I mean, the killing curse comes at you. You can hear them say the freaking words, for goodness sakes. Um, Avocadabra. Um, and you can hear it, you're like, oh shit, he's doing smell, take cover. Okay. Um, you can't do really dodge a bullet, though. A bullet, I think, moves at around 135 miles per hour. Collect me if I'm wrong, but an average bullet moves at around 135 miles per hour. And that's just a standard bullet. I mean, if you're shooting something like a 50 caliber, 50 cal at, 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 what a, at a wizard, it would do, the, they could do much against that. moves 10 times faster and... It does a lot more damage to you. I mean, you will be dead before they, they'll be dead before they even know it. And they don't really have any spells that can defend against projectiles like that. Their, their spells are more protect, protecting against 
uh, magic, but they don't have any really magic, as far as I'm aware, that can protect them against projectiles like movable objects, which a bullet is. So, taking, and then on top of that, there's a lot more, as they put it, muggles than there are wizards uh, in the world. I mean, there are around 7 billion people on planet Earth at the moment. 7.8 billion people on planet Earth about now. I don't know the proper numbers, but around, last time I heard was around 7.8 billion. I think this was a couple of years ago now. But there are 7.8 billion people on Earth. Most of those are muggle-born. Only a few of those are actual wizards. And only and few, only a few of those on top of that are actually pure-blooded wizards. On top of that, most wizards are either from half-blood families or fully Muggle families, like Hermione's. So, would Voldemort be able to take over? No. He will do a lot of damage. He will do a lot of damage to Britain. Yes, he will. Um, but actually, ruling Britain, no. Never going to happen. The mug, the muggles, us humans, our weapons do too much damage. And we got, and on top of that, we got tanks, machine guns, helicopters, planes, um, special forces, boats, and infantry as well. On top of that, the wizard world have only really got freaking, um. If you, in their word, in our words, infantry as well. They don't have any vehicles. They don't have any support of any other kind. Um, but those magical creatures won't really come to. Which, yeah, they've got dragons, but that's not going to do much because they're wild. So they're really going to do nothing. And if they did manage to tame the dragons in some sort of way, that's going to do next to no damage either because we've got too many armed forces that would deal damage to them. Sure, the dragons and what will do quite a bit of damage anyway if Lord Voldemort manages to tame them. Um, but still, they'll be shot down. So, in either way you look at it, guys, Lord Voldemort, either way, was going to be fighting a losing battle, even if he did manage to take Hogwarts. There's no other way that we could look at it. Um, but let's say, for argument's sake, he did manage to take over Britain. If if he managed to, if he managed to somehow manage to take over Britain, and Britain is his, it's his to control, it wouldn't last. He doesn't listen to his subjects, he calls them all but, all but his servants. He doesn't care what they think, he doesn't care what they want in life, he kills them for the fun when he's bored. They sneeze, he, he freaking kills them. He, that's no ruler. At all, and on top of that, there's a, a hundreds of other nations that will go against him because he would have exposed himself at that point. Do you think really like places like America or France or any other country would stand against that, even if they're not too fond of Britain? And they'll think, okay, he took over Britain. He's going to come after us next, and they'll try and and they'll try and dispose of him. Either way, Lord Voldemort would not win. Because he, he's just too careless. He's too careless, he's too destructive, and he doesn't listen to his followers. Emperor Palpatine, he listens. I mean, he's very rare, sure. But he's got armies. He's got hundreds of units at his disposal. Billions at time. Millions, sorry. Lord Voldemort doesn't even have a proper army. They're just subjects. So, yeah, anyway... That's my opinion on that subject. Let me know what you think, guys. If I got that completely wrong, let me know. Let me know your opinion. I would love to hear it and read it. Um, so, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode of Popcorn Time, episode four. Um, I know it's only a short one, but I, did, uh, I thought, hey, it would be an interesting thing to... I thought I was thinking about it. I was thinking it pop up a few times on YouTube... Fre not YouTube threads. Um, on threads on the internet. And um, people, people talking about it, saying Lord Voldemort would win. He wouldn't win if he took over Hogwarts. He simply wouldn't. He would probably manage to destroy Britain or do a lot cripple it. Yes, but he wouldn't do it. He wouldn't be able to do it. Um, and that's my personal. That's my opinion anyway. Um, I'm, I'm sure my opinion will pop. Will, might, it might my opinion might change after I read the books. Um, who knows? And if it does change, I'll you you can be sure I'll do another video on that. 
But until then, guys, you have been listening to me, Found Popcorn, Founding Popcorn, Found 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 Pop